I'm here at the Fantasia Bahia Principe Resort and today is actually our last day here of a uh, seven day all-inclusive week and um, we were here for six full days so I'm heading to the gym now for my third day this week which is kind of like my own personal goal when I'm on vacation I try to do a workout of some sort at least half of the days that I'm on vacation. So three out of the six full days being here is I reached my goal. <laughs> um, so I'm just heading to the gym now. It's about 8.30 in the morning. And uh, I'm gonna do a quick little workout before we get on with our day. And uh, I'll see you in there. Hola. Okay, I'm in a, a little room that I found on the resort. Um, it's just off to the side of the gym here. And uh, it's just a space for doing yoga or dance or Pilates or whatever activity it is that you're choosing to do. And I've basically had this room to myself every morning that I've been here. So I thought I would share with you one exercise that I like to do that is a full body workout. So it's great if you've only got a short amount of time that you're trying to um, get in a quick workout. This is a Pilates exercise. Um, I am a trained stock Pilates uh, certified instructor. And uh, so this Pilates particular exercise is called the leg full front. And there's different stages that we can do to build up um, to do this exercise based on your ability or um, where you are at in your, in your exercise routines, or if you're bouncing back from an injury, um, then that it can be modified for many, in many different ways. I'm gonna start with just a little prep of this exercise. So we're gonna start on all fours. So trying to get your wrists under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. And all we're gonna do to start here we're going to stabilize the shoulder blades. So think about drawing the shoulder blades down your back, down your rib cage. So those shoulder blade muscles are nice and strong and they're stabilized for the exercise. Then we're going to think about pulling in our tummy muscles. Okay, so think about the, your corset of muscles that wrap around your, your mid midline here. And think about pulling that belly button up towards your spine and controlling, making sure that everything is stable and through your lumbar spine and into your pelvis with a neutral spine, meaning that we don't have too much arch in our lower back and we're also not curved either. So a neutral spine is that curve that should be there all the time, day to day, in our lumbar spine. Okay, so neutral spine, and we're going to curl our toes under, and we're going to inhale to prepare, drawing the shoulder blades down, and on the exhale, we're going to just simply lift the knees up off of the floor ever so slightly, a couple of inches. Stay here for your inhale. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, lifting the knees up off the floor. Stay here for your inhale. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale. Drawing the shoulder blades down the back. Exhale, lifting the knees up off of the floor. Stay here for your inhale. Exhale, all the way down. And switch it all off. Inhale, drawing the shoulder blades down your back. Exhale, lifting the knees up off the floor. Stay here for your inhale. Exhale, up and down. Okay, so that might be um, where you're at with this exercise. You might have to just start with that level, um, the preparation for the leg pull front. Um, if you'd like to, if you, if you'd like to, if you feel like you're strong enough to be able to go into the, the full portion of the exercise, I'll show it to you now. Um, again, make sure that you check with um, 
physician or, or anyone that you are, are working with to make sure that you're ready for, for this level of the exercise because it's definitely a more intermediate exercise and it's a bit more challenging. I think about uh, my dancer friends out there who really benefit from this exercise. It is a full body workout. You're using every single muscle, muscle group. Um, if you think about it when you're into your pose, you're using your muscles all around the shoulder girdle. You're using your muscles all around your core. You're using your glutes, you're using your hamstrings, you're using your hip flexors. You're using, you're using your dorsiflexors and plantar flexors from your feet. It's just an incredible full body workout into this. So I'll give you a little demonstration of what this leg pull front looks like. Wrists around the shoulders and we step back into the plank position and we're watching to make sure that we're not extending, that we're not lifting up too high in the middle and we're also watching that we're not sagging down and letting the belly hang down towards the floor. Okay, so a nice straight line and a neutral, neutral uh, lumbar spine into the pose. So we're going to inhale, lifting uh, the right foot up. Exhale, on your exhale, you're going to push back. Just going to shift forward a little bit. On your exhale, you're going to push back with a pointed toe, and then you're going to come forward again. Inhale, and then you lower it down. Exhale. So inhale to lift. Exhale, reaching back, really getting a good stretch in your Achilles, and then inhale back, and then toes down. Nice strong toes on the floor. Inhale up, exhale back, inhale, exhale lower, inhale up, exhale reach, inhale, and down. Okay? So again, just watching your alignment, you may want to do this in front of a mirror or uh, with somebody else so that they can watch your form. Um, if you're sinking into the exercise with your shoulders, if you're drop, dropping down like this, then you're not strong enough yet <laughs> through the shoulder girdle and the muscles that attach to the shoulder blades. So you need to do some prep work in order to get yourself to the point where these muscles are able to stabilize and be strong so that you don't injure yourself. Okay, so I'll just show you that one more time, the full leg pull front, and uh, you can take a look at, uh, see all the muscle groups that are being used when you're doing this exercise. done for now and off to enjoy the beautiful sunshine on our final day here. Bye for now everyone!